Hey everybody! Um, so this video was, it's going to be kind of like a, if you're inside my brain, <laughs> how I work through creative problems and I'm hoping that by thinking this out loud and sharing with you what I've gone through or what I currently am going through as an artist will kind of help you figuring on figuring out like what exactly you want to make um, but like realizing the struggles that are very natural for artists in general of just like um, doubting yourself not sure if that's the right idea and like it's it's just really hard to come up with artistic ideas right so um, yeah I welcome you to my studio which is just in my living room I have a lot of stuff piled everywhere which I'm not gonna show you everything because it's very messy however I wanted to share a couple different things so my first thought when thinking about the creative process and thinking about the early stages is, is like exactly where we're at right now. Some of you did great. You've already uploaded your um, rough draft. You did your thumbnail sketches before that. You already have this idea in mind. You're like, I just want to make it. That's cool. For some of you who might be still like uncertain of what exactly you want to create, um, hopefully this will help you get some ideas as well. Okay. Um, as far as like the three different options I had, you can really go however you want, right? So I kind of want to explore all three and talk about them through my mind. So bear with me. <laughs> okay, so the first one, the creative research project. Um, remember it can span anything, right? Right. It's just like whatever you're very interested in, go for it. Um, one thing for me, I want to share uh, so I was commissioned by my boyfriend's mom to create paintings for their um, living room. And they live in Florida. And I've been thinking a lot, like, how am I going to do this? Should I buy canvases and mail them? And so I've been doing a lot of research on the technical aspects of creating really large paintings and then shipping them. Or would it make more sense to just fly to Florida and paint them there? Um, still not sure what's going to happen. But just to get you in my mind of like how I've been processing even the idea of them all, um, I started by talking to the woman who, or um, my mother-in-law basically, uh, what she wanted. And that was just kind of very open-ended. She just mentioned like some nice soothing colors. So I've been working through these different um, watercolor sketches. Okay, you don't, like your sketches don't have to be in pencil. You could do little thumbnails of watercolor if that's already what you know you want to do. So I'm just playing around with color, kind of, um, I did some research uh, like by looking at other photos um, online of just like beach scenes. I was even looking like at abstract stuff. So my research was just kind of exploring existing images, um, researching materials as well, and all of that. Um, I also did it in acrylic. These are a little bit bigger thumbnails. Um, just to try to get a little bit more abstract. Oh, I think this goes this way. And playing around with like the color palette. So I made like little swatches just to try to figure out what colors that she want. And I sent this to her and she really liked the watercolor thumbnails the most, I think because they were soft. So from there, I created these larger versions. This would be like my rough draft because the final version is going to be huge, like four foot by three foot. And I've never done really large watercolors before. So on top of that, I researched, uh, well, like what kind of brushes will I need? What kind of paper works best? Um, what kind of space should I prepare? And all of that. So that took a lot of just like researching by searching watercolor and, and whatever I could find online. Um, but there's so many resources out there. So anyway, I went from like, trying to make something abstract um, and the idea is like she wants three different um, like panels basically they're called a triptych so I don't know we'll see what happens but these are all my different ideas so there's some that are just very soft and basic and then the ones earlier you saw they were kind of like a little bit louder and a little bit more abstract so We'll see about that project, but I am currently stuck. I don't know what the next step is. I really just need to talk to her and figure it out. But that's kind of an idea of an actual creative problem that I'm currently working through. Um, 
another one, so I did have a contest I was going to participate in in April and just like didn't do it, but I did go through the early stages by um, drawing thumbnails and just thinking and thinking and thinking, and I thought so much that I overthought it and then just never made anything. And that's okay too. Um, so I wanted to share with you a couple of sketches I had. They're not great, but um, if you can see. So I was trying to think of our current situation and the coronavirus and how it's just affecting everybody. So I was going to make some sort of awareness poster, um, which kind of fits under that category of one of the options, right? So just trying to think of like positive messages for, for people, um, physically distance, but stay connected to your network, I don't know, with the Zoom. So we'll see. And one thing I was thinking a lot about was like, well, we can't really touch each other, so to say, like with hugs and being so close, but we can still be out in nature and like still feel um, like just really nice things from plants, especially, and they brighten up my day. So I was trying to figure that out. For me too, it was like just um, breathing, doing yoga. I was trying to like figure out how to make the body interesting, but kind of struggled at, at that. And I was like, oh, maybe it's just like folding forward, releasing tension. Um, that could be a positive message for people dealing with stress right now. Um, and then here's all these very tiny thumbnails. They actually are almost the size of my thumb. Um, there, these were different ideas too I had for prints. I've been block printing. Uh, I wish I could have done that with y'all this, this school year, um, but it didn't, didn't work out. So I'm just working on some designs that I wanted to come up with um, as well. So that's sort of where my project ended. I really just stopped at the thumbnail sketches, um, never really made it past to the rough draft. I never followed through the project. But those are some ideas if you want to pursue the, um, like what's going on in the coronavirus, some sort of awareness or like how you're dealing with it. Um, maybe those are some ideas that might help you out. Um, the last thing was based off of like my interest in nature, um, earth and like the, like the advocacy part of it too. I went to this really cool like webinar, um, like a couple weeks ago around Earth Day and we did a couple different exercises that I think are like perfect for what we did the first trimester when I made you do all those um, sketchbook pages that you all loved um, and one was actually free association so if you remember free association you start with like a word or an image in the middle and then you like create like a web and that helps you figure out like um, how things are connecting uh, maybe it'll give you a breakthrough of like, well, what, how can I visualize this? So I had to censor something I wrote here, but just to sh give you an example. So you could start with two different circles. This could be for any of your projects, actually. Um, so maybe it's, uh, you want to like communicate the fear and anxiety you have during this time. Okay, so write that in the middle and then spend like 30 seconds just coming up with different feelings you get about that right um and then take about a minute a little bit longer draw another circle and try to just do images of those words and we did this exercise together there was like 400 people on this one webinar it was really cool it was very challenging as well just like thinking of these things but if you just sit down and, and really like focus on one word or one like image in mind um it can help you start piecing together like well how can i make art out of this thing right um, the next one was just like, what are you most grateful for? And of course, I feel like I have a lot more than my fear and anxiety. And then like, how can I, um, turn that into an image? That was really hard actually. So, um, I just wanted to share that little example. And, um, there were a couple other ones that were similar. There was anger. How do you visual, like create words and then do a visual. And then there was this one, um, the sources of power, your hope, how can you be effective? And that was really cool. So the overall um, goal of this webinar was to get artists to, to start making art in a way that is like showing our strength and power and trying to promote um, like awareness for the, like how we need to be caring for the earth. And the, the hashtag was create art for earth 
and they're still doing their campaign, but really bringing awareness to like climate change and other um, environmental issues that are going on. So on that, that got me thinking like, I've been really wanting to make some art. I have like, like my, a lot of my sketchbooks are just full of random ideas that I never follow through with and that's okay. So I was sort of toying with some ideas I've been sitting on and this kind of plays into the um, the third option, right? So you're focusing on just composition. And for me, I have a couple of different ideas I wanna work with. Um, one in particular was about like connecting the earth and even like the awareness of this time right now, right? So how our hands can still um, touch nature and be in touch with ourselves and some sort of connection between them. So you can see I have these little thumbnails of some ideas I came up with. Um, I was thinking like a hand touching a tree. Oh, what is this? Oh, a hand with soil. Not the best sketch, but... And then there was one I had a dream about a butterfly and, and I was thinking like, oh, that would be cool if there somehow I could capture like a hand and a butterfly interacting somehow. And having like a little triple, um, like small art pieces together. Um, yeah, and I've had some other ideas that are listed here but I won't ramble on. Um, one of my sketches that, for the tree idea at least with the hand on it, I developed a little bit more into a rough draft and I might do it. I I drew just like my own hand as a sketch and then um, tried to create like a melting looking tree bark. So I'm thinking this one could be kind of cool. What I was really focusing on was line perspective of just like having the hand kind of come forward. So um, this is kind of my rough draft idea. Uh, I'm not completely sure how I want to do it yet. Um, might paint it, but I also am thinking of doing a block print because that's been really fun. So we'll see. That's kind of my focus um, as of late. Just some other things I want to share with you while I have this. I've been working on what I was saying, block prints a lot. Actually, here's one. Um, I had these blank postcards. They're really cool. So I've been making prints and then mailing them to people. So I've done about 21 postcards to friends and family. Um, and this was a design I made based off of a picture I took when I was on a hike like last year. So they're um, mushrooms, the, sh the shelf mushrooms that grow on a log. And I created this from it. And I was actually inspired by a painting I made earlier, which I'll take you around. Whoops. Ugh. So you'll see that one right there. A little mushroom shelf one. The other ones were like some art I did in the past. That's a little sneak peek of my house. <laughs> All right. So yeah. And then some other things I designed for the block prints was this little bird with like love. I was trying to think like, how can I send sort of like a loving message to my family and friends and have like a nice image. And one thing I didn't like that I did, I tried to make words. And so this was like a draft of it. Um, it was supposed to say a handmade tweet for you playing with like, instead of doing Twitter, I'm tweeting you with a postcard. It was, I don't know. It was funny to me in, in my head. And then when I like made it, I didn't like how it turned out. I was trying to see if I had a sketch of it beforehand. Um, yeah, anyway. So my moral of the story is sometimes your ideas stick and you, you're gonna follow through with them and that's great. Sometimes you just have ideas and that's okay. It's good to just like draw, sketch, sketch, sketch and like capture whatever you have and then you'll figure out what you're eventually going to make into your like final piece. But don't stress too much for now, just like have fun. Even if you came up with an idea last week, maybe you want to revise it. Maybe you want to just keep thinking on it or you had a thought this past weekend like, oh, actually, I think I want to do it this way now. That's great. Um, part of art is just always revising and always uh, rethinking your own thinking, right? So it's just um, trying to get what's in your head onto paper or canvas or whatever you're sculpting, digital art. Um, it's hard and it's fun though. And like once you get to that point of like, I did it, it's just very exciting. So hope you have fun. I hope this was somewhat enlightening. You got to learn a little bit about me and my art and stuff that I've been doing lately. Um, but for now,
go make some art. And email me if you have questions. Okay, bye.